This is a fun build. Let's do it. I mean, this is dangerous for Umbral. Dangerous as hell, but I'm in the mood. So what's that? Sakan? Nah, I'm not in the mood. I'll be in the mood again soon, though. We haven't done a Sakan run in a while, so it will be time at some point. I like struggling to see the ads on Phase 3 Mythics. Should I keep AoE for it, or should I just focus on them when they spawn? If you ask me, I have a different opinion about the ads in Phase 3 Mythics than some of my peers, so take it how you will. I don't think you should focus on the ads at all. In Phase 3, I think they're kind of a bait. Uh, if you focus too much on them, what you're doing is just like making the fight take longer, when you could just be directing all of that damage towards Mythics himself. What it means is that you're probably not strafing the fight properly, or in my estimation. You want to move around the arena away from them, especially the golems, right? And then for the exploders, you wanna... You can't just dodge them by running in circles, right? But for the golems, it's not as easy to pay attention to them while you're doing pizza, so just try to stay away. There's like a, a macro level of kiting you have to be doing while you're fighting the Thirks. But I don't see a ton of people doing in the middle. Yeah, I mean, if you're just in one spot, they're all gonna conglomerate and mess you up, right? It might be one of the reasons that I see a lot of people struggling with that, but dang. What do you like more, double rebar retool or double nailgun power mode? I've never ever in my entire life liked the double rebar. I think it's actually the lamest ability combo in the game. The reason I like this one is because you have so much movement tech uh, with your character. Being able to push yourself around uh, is fun. So like this, it's like basically another feather. And we'll see more of that being used as the run goes on. But for right now, we don't really need to use them much. AP ammo? Not bad. We have a scrapper too, so... This skin looks so cute, it's adorable. It's just like the little... The little it's the best. Why does Walti and Artie have a loader acceleration rise and the rest of survivors? Well, for Artie, it's because she has a hover thing. And they wanted to make her feel like she hovered. And for Multi, he has like a pivot. And originally, they made him have a lower acceleration, but a higher base speed. When the game first came out. They realized quickly that they didn't want characters that have different base speeds, so they changed it, but they kept his acceleration, which I don't know if that was on purpose or if that was an accident. I do think the uh, acceleration, the lowered acceleration, is probably like, the worst feeling thing that they've ever added for the best feeling roguelite I've ever played in terms of combat. I feel like that was a mistake. To me, it's pretty apparent that a lot of people agree, even though they don't know what the acceleration value is, because a lot of people just say, hey, I don't like the way Multi and Artie feel. So, they don't know why they hate it. But Multi and Artie are some of my favorite survivors. Oh, I think they're amazing. Don't mistake what I'm saying. I, I love these characters to death. But I think if, uh, you know, that value was changed, everyone would probably like them more. How about Artie Speed since you dodge uh, vertically rather than horizontally? Yeah, most of the time it's not really a big deal. I think it's only when you're fighting the Thirks and they're in pizza and stuff where it really kind of shines that your pivot speed is pretty low. Well, Tanner, you have really fun abilities, so it makes up for the movement. I mean, even if everyone in the game had that level of movement, he would still play it. I never like multi arty because that sluggish they felt, and adapted to it now multi are my favorite. That's what I'm talking about. The sluggish acceleration problem's real. Hello. I'm gonna look around a bit, too, uh, during this teleporter event, see if there's any more things that I missed. A neural, huge. All right, I swear there's like some some cloak chest or something. I just want to look. I just want to peek. Oh yeah, there's one I missed because I'm stupid and blind. It's just a large chest. I think that in the shrine will just about do it though. Who knows? Might even get a recycler out of the shrine and we roll this into a chirp. That would never happen though, right? Uh, the other day I had the most amazing run ever with NG Tesacol, Drone Man, MD Cores, ICBM, Flint, Poly Loot, Hard Light, runs like these, and we love NG so much more. NG specifically, I mean, I talk about a lot, but NG has potentially like some of the best builds in the game, and he uses items in ways that no other character ever can because of the turrets, and it's really fun. Or I think he lacks a little bit in uh, player agency, he makes up a lot in the most interesting builds. That's the part of the reason I love NG, he has little guys. Little guys. We'll get opens too, I think. I don't really think any boss damage here. His syringes would be really good. Whoa. Insane. That uh, was your favorite item combo as a person with the ICBM plus polyloot. I mean, that's... 
That's a pretty disgusting one for sure. I don't know what my favorite item combos are, honestly. There's a lot of cool synergy things in this game. And a lot of things do work together pretty well, but I kind of changed my opinion on that by the day, I think. By I like Crowbar kind of with this build, but I just... Uh, do you want to get rid of Stun? I think it's really nice. I don't really think we need it, but I'll keep it anyway. Do I want two? I think two opals would be better. Long term. I'd rather a survivability in the Umbral fight than a damage. Actually, let's just get rid of this. I'm done. Boop. Eh, I can't turn around on ice. It's crazy. I trivia TG for that one present chance to turn an enemy into a fine mist. Yeah, all the proc chain stuff is honestly just fun. You know? That's sweet. I think those are probably... I mean, it's kind of a, a basic answer, but it's one of my favorite things. Just seeing a proc chain take off. We're gonna need some sort of damage soon, though, for normal enemies. I also need to find the buttons. Okay, we have the god pot, which is really good. What is this? Rusted key. Maybe. This is why I love nail gun, dude. It's just too fun. I remember what would have been my favorite game during the PS2 era. Like, again, I had a PS2, but I just didn't really... I didn't really play it that much. A lot of my friends had an Xboxes, so I just usually played those games and Nintendo stuff during that kind of era. The other one's over there. We need to be really, really careful keeping that pot alive. Very, very important. PS2 era was the golden age of racing games. Yeah, I just never liked racing games. Yeah, before someone says it, uh, but your name is Ray, did, did, did. I just don't like racing games, dude. I don't know. Never really gotten to any of them, even like Mario Kart. There you go. Oh, it's beautiful. Why exactly the name Race anyway? Because that's my name in real life. Anyone taking time off from work for BG3? Dude, I am actually super excited for Baldur's Gate. I'm pumped. We got Double Doom Strider. You got this. Ugh. You're so close. Okay. What do we get? I mean, something cool, hopefully. That's pretty good. There's no way to pull roll pots with. It's because of that acceleration we were just talking about. He's the worst character in the game to do it with. Watcher at key. Hmm. I think we need the watch, unfortunately. I do want the key, but I don't really want to print the key either. He is really good, so that's kind of our choice. Uh, once spent 20 minutes rolling pots of multi with headset. Dude. <laughs> oh, that little ledge made me so I couldn't hit him. I said they do kick flip. I tried to mimic you, but it's very inconsistent. All right, let's pretend that this this big tile right here is a pot, right? Let's say we want to go that way, right? It's very important that we stand on this backmost lip of the pot and then we sprint jump off. Yeah, right, so I beat E8 for the first time yesterday because you're too good, dude. Fully. Hell yeah, man. Give him a clap, dude. What a gamer. And I hope for shurikens are probably ends with the vehicular manslaughter. Uh, probably the second, but shurikens would be really, really nice. A reminder that our shift scales with movement speed and the stat of movement speed. Not momentum speed or velocity or anything like Loader does, but actually like the stat of speed. So the faster we go, the more speed items we have, the more damage we're going to deal. Ranks, bands, and shit, very powerful. You know, world spawn Doom Strider for some reason. Gimme, gimme. Oh, that's so beautiful. Zero equipment kind of day? I hope not. And so far, it's not really looking great for equipment. Right? Cool. Would harpoons be good on loader and multi? No. Uh, more so multi if you're doing like a power mode build, though, since you can move faster while in power mode. I still wouldn't recommend taking it, but at least has a use there. I still need 
damage. Like, I have a little bit of crit. I'll watch here for these guys, but... I need some more. I need some bleed or something. That would be nice. Then you close for a friend or press on loader, you get the speed after you need it. Well, I mean, like, theoretically, you can, like, burst through enemies, but this doesn't really work the way you think it does. I found an equipment, everybody. Hopefully it's a card or a recycle. Or a gun, because we're on the good map. That's fine. Yeah, come here. <laughs> Maybe it'll help with the bosses, I guess, but not my favorite. When do you think the Vodios will come out on console? Uh, listen, I think... I'm optimistic that it won't be another year. I think it'll be less than a year. Call me crazy for thinking that, but... What the fuck? <laughs> Dude. Fucking parkour bison. <laughs> what the fuck is that speedrunner bison threat? Oh, Jesus. What am I witnessing right now? That was the craziest shit I've ever seen. Didn't you know that heads armor's also, don't explode for the non-host players on a console. No. Listen, I every time I hear anything about console, it's like the craziest shit I've ever heard in my life. That's actually really nice. In power mode. I would love a merc. I don't know what the is what has been talking for a long time. Yeah, you don't really have to if you have a PC, so. I think I'm gonna use my equipment here. It can be a little bit tanky. A bait. Sad. Alright, but how do you think your boss has been handling the screen too? I have no idea. Uh, they haven't done anything yet. That being said, I have faith in them. But we'll see. I'm excited because they seem excited and they are communicating more recently which is something I know there's not much to communicate but it seems like they're trying to make her it doesn't mean I'll agree with every change they make but, but it's nice when people are excited to make stuff is it worth the time to recycle white items it depends how bad they are and how bad your build is if you have literally no speed and you need it, it might be worth it okay I'll just I probably could have held up for something better there but I am going to get uh, attack speed here. Blap, blap, blap. I guess I can... Uh, I don't know. I don't need three wraps, but I would like one wrap, so I'm going to just keep it anyway. I don't really need that that much. I think that's good. Actually, I want to keep this guy alive. If we can get a gun, uh, we have a moderate amount of crit here. That would actually be pretty good. I need to kill some stuff, but I just don't know where that stuff is besides this one enemy. I found money, guys. The double imp, though, is not my favorite here. Uh, I'm gonna just slip right by you, thanks. Our damage is starting to get pretty low. I had a couple of screen too due to my switch lagging so bad I can't loop past two loops. Oh yeah, I mean, you can't, you can't do anything like that on that hardware. Not even close. Though, you still can play, I'm assuming, without looping. Personally, I enjoy the game without looping, but... So it's doable. But to, uh, to unlock some stuff, I think you need to loop for it. Which is unfortunate. There we go. Gotta hope just can't do the graphics hardware and having to re-unlock everything. Yeah. That's tough. More crit for our not shadow spin yet. I'm gonna try to get a gun out of that. Well, that wasn't successful. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll just kill him. They're kind of training us around a little bit, so... I'm trying to go for a feather there is too much risk. This is fine. As long as we have AoE, we chill him. Some more speed would be nice though, for sure. I need to slam into you. Thanks. Who doesn't know the depths of multiplayer randoms? I shudder at the thought. I mean, there's some games where the game is very obvious that you have to work together to win, right? And then there are games like this game where it tempts randoms with uh, the idea of just being really powerful. 
and being able to take away power from the team for themselves, and they're just like, yeah, I mean, what are you gonna do? Just, and they just, you know. <laughs> so I, I think people just forget, to be perfectly honest, that this is a game about working together to win, that it's cooperative, and it's not just, uh, I'm gonna just run around and get more loot, because multiplayer, lol. <laughs> And then the thing that like helps reinforce that too is like you can absolutely win by actually just giving your friend every single item. Right? Or inversely you just taking it. Most of ours getting items becoming stronger. I mean, you can still do that. But I think it's important to consider your teammate becoming stronger as you becoming stronger, right? When you work together. That to me is very important. Yeah, let's just go see the uh large system. That is pretty good. That kind of helps alleviate some of the, uh, the damage problems we're having, so... Fuck me, I guess. Yeah, I don't want to boss item anyway. Focus up. Now we are at that point though where a lack of movement speed is becoming a real problem because we have Umbral in a stage and a half, so. And then we have to pick up the wrap, scrap, and then pick up the void. Not in that order. I mean, it's best if you know how to play turrets well. I mean, every character is good if you know how to play them well. Don't fall into the, uh, the NG only mindset even. Every character is just as powerful. Uh, scrap first. And placing them optimally is placing them out of bounds in walls and stuff. I want to get uh, Clips 8 with all characters, except Rex because I never bother to unlock him. All the comedic value. I mean, listen, Rex is actually more fun. I think people give him credit for he's, he's less of a problem than I think uh, most people say. Like, oh my god, he's the worst thing ever. You can't do But it's like, he's fine. He's fine. I mean, I'm hoping for a speed for next stage, I guess. I just recently actually beat his EA, which completed my journey to Golden E8. Dude, Frosty. Congratulations, man. That was fucking awesome. Welcome to the E8 Gold Club. Very powerful position to be in. Red said me close to a month to finish. Kip Skip Choke is runs costly. You know why? It's not because I don't think he's hard. And you said choke, but it's like, it's just because you want it so bad, you know? You're just like, dude, this is the last one. I'm kind of nervous about it, and then your nerves just get you. I see it all the time. Once you're done with the E8 climb itself, it gets a lot easier. Because then you're not you're not really wanting just to get that metal, you know. And that's when people start enjoying Rex somewhere. So Rind is very good here, because then we can skip pillars with the attack speed. That might be the way we dodge uh, Umbral Mythrix and stuff. It's going to be tough. Here's another thing I'll be back from Golden E8. The self damage is such a potential for someone like me who has that tower defense playstyle. Pain. Definitely try to use the uh, the alternate kit as much as you can. Just use the harpoons as a uh, as a replacement for your M1. It'll help you out a lot. I'm surprised I haven't gotten any bleed or anything either. Blast shower. Actually, that's not bad. I think we're gonna go blast shower. That might actually allow us to uh, win. Movement speed, hype. DML, wrong. Scrapper, beautiful. I didn't mean to actually click on it. Meat hook. Um, meat hook is not bad here. That's not what I want. Okay. I think I just need to get the attack speed, like now. If we don't like it later, we can just uh, scrap it, so it's not a huge deal. It'll help me move around. Nice. Very cool. Doesn't really even do that much more damage because you don't really have any procs either. I just need it for movement. It's beautiful. Might just have to go uh, smokes here. 
Manifesting the Chantra and Scorpion? True. I hate that, dude. Get away from me. Hey, hey. I don't think I can use that at this stage. I don't think there's a single try shop, so. Okay. Hey, there it is. That's what we're waiting for. I'm gonna take the watch. So, as far as equipment, I think we still might want the uh, blast shower, actually. Well, that one though. Probably just gonna reroll the card. We will get rid of the card. There's nothing to use it with. Time. We will we will reroll the smokes. I'm gonna reroll that too. I don't want more bears. We can cleanse it immediately with blast shower, so. Let's see who you are. I don't want Mungus. If it's something I could just scrap, I might pick it up, but I'm not gonna just pick up uh, an item that just gets voided. Nice, I guess. We're in so much desperate need for speed. Someone asked earlier, like, when do you recycle my items? Are they worth it? Now. <laughs> I don't have any speed, uh, so I pretty much need to. Which is unfortunate, but, you know. Not even the crits got any tips on Captain and Rex. They have a similar tip. Try to get movement speed as much as you can. I mean, prioritize it, really. If I'll be at a ton. AoE is also really good for Rex, because his initial damage and proc vision stuff isn't very powerful. But you can go from an AoE build and kind of transition into a, uh, a stronger proc build later. Or an equipment-based build. Laser scope. All right. Well, we do have a lot of crit, so that's actually... That works. It's not, like, the best, but I am not complaining. Also, if you have spaces, does Diablo damage get blocked? It gets blocked. It's only a one hit. So when you're trying to skip pillars with Diablo Strike, right? You need to double Diablo yourself if you have saver spaces, anyway. Or just take fall damage. Another Blast Shower. I mean, it's meant to be. FMP. No, thank you. A gun. That's what I wanted. I didn't mean to actually pick that up. I was just trying to run. I'm gonna use the gun on this thing like, right now. I'm gonna end of the cores are gonna be massive for the fight. Hard into a gun, how perfect. Some of the things they use is Leeching Seed and already selects why they make it worse. Leeching Seed and Scythe both do, by the way. So before you go shooting on Leeching Seed alone, uh, remember that there's a Leeching Seed that uses crit as well. So I agree, Leeching Seed is the fucking worst. Another DML? Eh, no thanks. It gives you 5% crit. I mean, it does, but that's half as good as a white eye. Something to think about. I mean, it's it does give you 5% crit, so it's not worthless, but... Man, oh man. Do I not like it. I mean, we're not doing no damage. That is for sure. Is that a cloak chest? That one? Yeah. Well, that was prior for two sticky bombs? Yeah, we're popping off the sticky soup. Constantly pray for great soups. Manifest your energy here. I need a feather. Can't we roll up? I can't do it. I literally can't re-roll it. Okay. That's just how that goes then. Need my the cores soon. I need to make sure I don't leave without them. Thank cores for in the high roll. Dude, I'm obviously taking cores. I need those shit. It's gonna be one of the best things for us right now. This is the high roll. <laughs> I actually, I don't even want sure for now. I just need a way to not take a billion damage and and the cores are it. I almost want to re-roll a few greens, to be honest. Beautiful. We also have to take Blast Shower. Blast Shower is the only thing that's actually gonna allow us to, uh, a chance. This is a very, like, specifically tough situation for Umbral here. It's amazing how hard that was to reroll that. I don't want to reroll wet items because that'll just take too long, but. Alright, well.
But we'll keep the, uh, the uke, though, at least. We need to scrap and get drones as well. It's a little bit of housekeeping to be done here. All right, you can go. Don't really need that anymore. Are you gonna roll the greens until you get good greens? I'm not gonna do it until I get good greens, but I'm gonna roll a few. Fissile? I could get rid of Fissile, yeah. I'm not gonna really be slamming into Mythrix here any amount, so. Or I hope not. If I find myself having to do damage just by slamming into him, then we have a problem. That was crazy how bad those rolls were. Okay. Ugh. Wouldn't it be amazing if Nailgun had recoil like Railgun or M1? It does. <laughs> That's why I'm doing it. I almost want to do Bonfire just because like this is such a fun... It's going to be such a fun fight though, but I'm not gonna... Hard light afterburner. Not really what I'm looking for. Alien head. Resonance this. Ew. Ew. Well, chat, this is not great. I think actually alien head though. Like, actually, believe it or not, alien head. So I can get power mode up faster if I need it. It's stupid, but Afterburner would not help me. Not when I have this much attack speed. Alright, I think we're good. Rainy. Pizza is going to be interesting. I used my blast shower there. Hey, hey, hey. Uh oh. This is going to be hard as hell.
Owie. I'm dead. I'm gonna die. I just can't deal damage. <laughs> oh, yeah. I could easily, easily die here in phase four, but we'll see how it goes. I deserve that one. Thank you. Jesus. <laughs> oh, God. That took so much. I need a breath after that one. That took all of my focus and energy. <laughs> I only kind of figured it out right at the end of phase three that, like, I could just spiral around him instead of doing, like, a drive-by or something. It was risky, too. It's not like it wasn't without risk, but surviving that many pizzas as well in Phase 3 it was also tough, the Blast Shower save. It's just such low speed and we're multi with no acceleration. And I almost died of uh, Phase 4. <laughs> I talk about it sometimes when I have a really good run. <laughs> That's, like, really hard. The adrenaline kicks in, I can't feel my hands anymore. <laughs> 